good morning YouTube channel that I have been neglecting. <laughs> I look like shit and I thought because of that I should do a transformation video my hair is pink we'll start with that um do I love it yes do I hate it yes <laughs> I'm just kind of going through like an identity crisis I guess because I don't fucking know what my deal is but I had my hair brown and I was parting my hair to the side because I was trying to grow my bangs out and then I thought that I had wanted to go blonde and I was planning on going to like a hairstylist and getting it done well and everything and I lost my patience, bleached it and it went so blonde and I kind of just came to the realization that like I don't look good as a blonde. Like do you guys see how much redness and just like unevenness my skin tone has? Like being blonde or just having light hair in general just isn't great for my complexion like i feel like being so pale i look better with like darker hair especially with it being so short because it literally like frames my face and i also just don't love having like bangs when my hair is light so it actually looks pretty good like color wise it looks good right now but I'm about to hop in the shower and I can 100% promise you guys that so much of this color is about to wash out. So I've been debating. I'm like, what should I do? Should I go back to brown hair and just forget about all this damage that I just did bleaching my fucking hair? Or should I keep doing it pink? Pink fades so fucking fast and I have to re-dye it like once every week and a half pretty much. I'm so obsessed with the color pink right now. I feel like every dress I own is pink and the clothes that I own that aren't pink are all like really neutral kind of like earthy type of colors and materials and stuff. So I feel like I'm either gonna do the whole full-on pink look head to toe or it's so weird because I've got bright pink hair and then I'm wearing like a linen shirt with denim shorts like I don't know it's just the vibe kind of clashes in my opinion long story short I'm just already over this shit and I just I'm like so disappointed in myself but like not surprised at the same time it's just I do this every time every time I've ever tried to go blonde I have just been like nope this doesn't look good if I just dye my hair brown I can go months and months and months without even fucking thinking about it without having to even dye it because that's what I did before. As soon as we moved back from Illinois in November, I didn't fucking dye my hair again until I just did this this month and it is June. So if I just dye my hair brown, all my problems will be solved. <laughs> I wanna see how much my hair fades because I'm about to take a shower, brush my teeth, do my skincare routine, all of that shit. And I'm gonna see how much my hair fades. If it fades enough, I'm gonna go get some brown dye and I'm gonna surprise Chris by dyeing my hair, I think. <laughs> also, my haircut, I'm just like, I literally cut my bangs like to here. And for the first time like ever, I was just like, don't really love that. Like, I'm actually not the biggest fan of bangs. Like, I'm loving these, like, curtain bangs, but not with the pink hair. Anyway. Shower. Skin routine. Brush my teeth. I already pooped, so that's off my list. I'm gonna run out and probably get some hair dye, dye my hair, do my makeup, then put on a cute outfit and go pick up Chris from work. Let's get started. You know... One day I'm gonna have a nice camera and I'm gonna have a laptop to actually edit on. But until then, enjoy my shitty content. Just got out of the shower, no idea how much my hair faded, but I kind of thought about it and I was like, you know what? Maybe it's a good thing that it still has some pink in there because then the brown will kind of like, cause like when you bleach your hair and you take all that red pigment out, you have to put the red pigment back in, in order to go brown. So, I mean, it's pink, not red, but close enough, right? So my hair definitely faded some, 
And another thing I forgot to mention to you guys was that like the biggest reason why I can't stand my hair fading so especially like so quickly is because the only time that I feel like my color looks even is when I first put it on and like have not washed it. I feel like th from the very first wash it is literally like an uneven mess. It's literally just been like since the day I did it I have been patiently waiting for my roots to grow out and they're taking forever. This is literally how much roots I have in a month which honestly is average but I'm just so fucking over this. I realized that like I was starting to think really deeply while I was taking my shower and I was like you know what I gotta stop being so hard on myself because literally like I've done this my whole life where like fashion and hair wise I go through a lot of phases and like they're usually emotional or just like you know however I'm like feeling at that point in time and I don't know I just got really bored and i had been wanting blonde hair for so long and that didn't work out so I just did the pink and I was trying to make it work and I'm just like you know it's okay to be a little basic because if I keep my hair more of a natural color especially one that's so close to my natural color then I can literally change up my fashion and all that kind of stuff like so easily because like that is something I embrace is that like I don't want to have this one like perfect aesthetic like my mind changes way too much for that shit. I'm gonna finish my skin routine upstairs. I just did face wash and exfoliator in the shower. As you can see I've got like acne scarring and then just like good old acne like on my forehead and my chin. I really don't break out anywhere else. I just get like blackheads on my nose. But yeah, it'll sometimes go like up my cheeks a little bit, but those I usually literally just pick off and they heal. I literally just spit. I guess I'm not really having an identity crisis. I'm just going through some shit and I should have never fucked with my hair. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs. Hi, Bubba. You do everything. What's in there? So, this is the hair color I ended up picking up. It is a little bit on the dark side, but I wanted to just be safe and make sure I got something that was going to cover. Oh my god, Kitty is rubbing on me. <laughs> so, this is the color that my hair faded to. It's so hard to see. Hold on. So, this is the color that my hair faded to. So, it faded to like a really pretty pink, honestly. Like, on top it looks good, but then when you start to kind of really look at my hair like this is a completely different pink down here than like up here and then my ends are like lighter and then my bangs are a little patchy and have like some gold to them so I mean this is a really cute color and I really enjoyed having pink hair but it's time to go back natural for sure I'm gonna go ahead and dye my hair now I'm not gonna film it because I really want to listen to music and like, why would you guys want to watch me dye my hair? I'll be back whenever I have my hair dyed. Hi, Papa. Hi. You good boy? Are you mama's good boy? Alright, the hair dye is on. I just wanted to show you guys a trick. That if you use makeup wipes, actually, of all things... It actually really helps to get dye off of your skin. As you can see, I made a dang mess. I'm just so worried that like people are gonna be upset with me, but like it's my fucking hair, so like whatever. I also wanted to throw in there that I'm gonna be using this hair mask. I got it for my work, and this is literally the best hair mask I have ever used. It smells amazing, it comes out pink and it just like genuinely actually works. Um, I usually just go ahead and use the conditioner that comes in the box dye, but thought I'd treat myself and my hair is gonna really need this. Um, also, I know a whole bunch of hairdressers are gonna be pissed at me like, why are you using box dye? It's the worst, but it's what I've always used, so whatever. Hello, my hair is brown again and I am genuinely like so happy. Like. 
I'm just, I feel so good. I already blow dried my bangs, but I pinned them back so I could do my makeup. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. Chris gets off in right around an hour, so. <laughs> I'm gonna do just some really like light natural makeup. Oh, I also really wanna switch out my nose ring because I bought rose gold ones and all of the like rosiness has faded out of it and now it's just like this really like ugly gold. So I'm just gonna put a silver one in and call it a day. I'm gonna switch out my nose ring and then do my makeup. A moment of silence for how fucking weird I look without my septum. Ah! Okay, I'm in my bathroom again. I am so happy with my hair. Spit bubble, toilet's running. This is my life. I'm letting my hair air dry other than my bangs and I put a little bit of like mousse in there to try to get some curl back. I've got this chain necklace on, a nice leopard cheetah print shirt. I prefer the term leopard. I've got some Converse on and some black Levi shorts. Let me see if I can show you guys. So anyway, I need to go pick up Chris from work, but I just wanted to pop in. I didn't get a chance to do my nails, but for now, that's how it all turned out. So I almost completely forgot that I'm gonna film Chris reacting to my hair. Hopefully, if I can like see him walking out, but he has no idea that I dyed my hair. Literally, guys, I am so in love with it. Like, I'm so fucking happy I went back to dark brown. Like, this is just, this is everything. Stay tuned for his reaction, but I think this is pretty much going to be, like, the end of the video. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. did it <laughs> was filming a reaction oh well and it was a good one oh my gosh <laughs>